How do you feel about the mess in the city, for starters? You want my feeling or my position on the mess in the city? It's not about the feeling, Both. my position. Both. And who is responsible for it? How you feel as a Lord Mayor negotiating potholes? Of course, I owe an apology to the people of Kampala for the mess there is. I take a political responsibility, though not accountable for the mess. I am not accountable for what is happening in the city. But I, I take the political responsibility as the political head of the capital city. What happens, well, it's everybody's concern. Yeah, who, who wouldn't have a city, who wouldn't want to have a, a city like that? No, 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 no. With the rotting infrastructure, with the floods all over, with the a messy kind of uh, gridlock you are seeing in Kampala here, it's, ten, it's untenable, it's not acceptable at all. Do you agree it's moving from worst to worst? But we sent early warning signs to you, and we raised the red flag well in time, so that we make interventions as a nation. Instead, you turn the guns against us. Uh, us as in who? I, I mean, for us, the whistleblowers, the, the people who are playing the oversight role at KCCA, the people who raised the red flag and said there is a problem here. The area we make intervention, the better. And we called for, we, we, actually, you, you thought we are sounding war drums. No. But it was a call for action for people to say, please, we must deal with this. For example, about the rotting infrastructure. I was here, and I told you people, we have, have been at this institution for a long time, and I know what is happening here. Government neglected the infrastructure in here in Kampala in terms of funding. And we decided to borrow. We started with World Bank, got colossal sums of money from World Bank. That's, why, that's when we had a, simple, a limited, some limited facelift on the infrastructure transformation in Kampala. And you started hyping Jennifer, 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 Jennifer has done wonders. They said everywhere you receive gunduzas, excavators, tractors, everywhere you receive. It will be construction everywhere. Even with the flyover project, that is Jaika Fund. It's Kamese Tambula kind of snail pace. Just a small stretch like this. You go to China. Within a space of one, two but, months, but, but, they have finished the road. Lord Mayor, Within one month. It's Lord, Lord Mayor. Yes. For how long should the country put up with this absurdity of the political wing? and technical failing to agree on anything to push Kampala forward. Must we collude? No, you shouldn't collude. Exactly. Collude. But at the same time, so you should where cooperate. There is a point you of, should cooperate. Where the there is a point of agreement, there is no debate. Where there is a point of agreement, you will not invite me to discuss areas of consensus. Where there is consensus. But we sit in the council sittings, we sit in the executive committee meetings, and in some cases there is a consensus. Yeah, but your but areas of departure look more defined than the areas of consensus. Because those are the, the ones in spotlight. Those are the ones that attract this controversial debate. And I'm not blaming you, because why should I come here to debate issues of consensus? If there's issues of that's a, 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 a PR, whatever program, which we have to pay for to market what we are doing there. The problem we have here is a pseudo multipartism. And that is the biggest pro problem, stumbling block in the way to the liberation struggle. Pseudo multipartism. Could you expand on this? Mm. The pseudo multipartism we have here has caused Sikhisms within the opposition ranks. Rifts which are unnecessary. Amongst the marginalized, amongst the oppressed. I was instrumental in the fight to restore multi-party democracy in this country under the leadership of Dr. Pokawanga Semogere through a protracted public interest litigation and of course street battles and whatnot. But what is happening today is not what we fought to put in place. Hmm? Yes, pseudo multipartism. Uh, we have said Where this, is the departure? Well, the departure now, we are sucked into those Sikhisms I've talked about, rifts, political squabbles along party lines. 
and uh, to the extent that we are about to lose focus if we, are, if we are not already there on the struggle. Let me tell you, I miss the days of FOC and people power. Those two formations have def had defined the direction of the struggle in this country. They were nonpartisan FOC activists for change, which was headed by Mpuga, a strong DP then. All the likes Mwanga, all the Subi members, myself, we belonged to DP, but we were commanded by Dr. Chizabesi, who was the FDC. Language to Gamba, Chogira Kosi, Achireta. We are gearing up for elections internally as FDC. Mm -hmm. You will see the ugly head rearing in these elections. You will see it come up or coming up. You will see it. It, has, it will always manifest there with lots of invisible hands, with lots of so many things happening. So you cannot have, for example, free and fair internal democracy in a political party under a military regime. It's not possible. That's a contradiction. And also you cannot have intra-party competition under militarism. That FDC is competing with the NUP and what, you know. For example, myself, I'm in FDC. I'm, I head the, I'm the deputy, F, FDC, Buganda region. And Grapevine has it that you're bidding for the presidency for the, of, of FDC. But there are those who are saying, uh, I do not exemplify the image of FDC in uh, public appearances, for example. I'm sorry I will say this, and I don't intend to offend anyone. Those who are watching and they are FDC, their attention may be drawn to this tie and say, why is Nkwago putting on red? This is reddish, purplish, but somebody will say, but he, it's red. He has that inupish thing. Maybe he's, he's scheming for 2026, and then that person forgets that in 2021, I won, when I was not in a new ticket, and the people of Kampala voted for me. And they also forget that in those, uh, those, those days, when I was still in DP supporting Dr. Besige, I would even flash the V sign mm. confidently. Mm. And the DPs would complain, why isn't he flashing the fist, the clenched fist? You get it? That, that's how confused we are. Artificial fanaticism is a problem generated by this pseudo multipartism, and it is killing the struggle. And it cuts across. I'm making reference to my party because I know I can go there and defend myself. But it's not this, what I'm saying is not restricted to only FDC. Mm. Today, if the Honorable Chagulani paid the cuts a visit, for example, to FDC at Najana Nkumbi, again, some voices will come out in the social media. Oh, to lead them all away. Oh, to lead them all away. But let me tell you this. In all these elections we have had, the people of Uganda have demonstrated it very clear. Dr. BCJ has was always, with all the massive rigging of this regime, has, has always garnered over 3 million votes. In the just concluded election, the Honorable Chagulani garnered over 3 million votes, 3.6 million votes. So are you going to wish them away, these two political figures? Are you going to wish them, are you going to wish away Dr. Chiza BCJ in the struggle? No. Are you going to wish away on the Honorable Chagulani in the struggle? Are you going to bring them under one roof of a political party? No. So, if you are not going to bring them under one party color, Dr. Chagulani cannot join FDC. Basically, cannot join in NOB. So, why should we fight? Yet the enemy is there.